using the FX column with grouped and ungrouped data. Here I've started a frequency table, ungrouped, um, showing cinema visits by students this month. This is just to show you the use of the FX column. Now cumulative frequency we already know, that's adding up the frequency so far. 13 plus 4 is 17, 19, 20. So we know that there were 20 students that we've surveyed. So the total of the frequency will also be 20, which it is. Now the FX column is the frequency times the score. What this lets us do is very quickly add up the data because I have six lots of zero, seven lots of one, four lots of two, two lots of three, and one lot of four. So if I just do that quick multiplication and then add all that up, I get the sum of all these pieces of data, which otherwise, you know, I'd have to go zero plus zero plus zero plus one plus one plus one plus one. Plus one. It? It's silly. So we use this multiplication to do that. Zero times six, don't get tricked, it's zero. One times seven. 4 lots of 2, 2 lots of 3, and 1 lot of 4. When you have got to the end of that, sum your data, 10, 25. So that tells you that in total you had 20 students and they went to the, video, uh, to the, the movies 25 times this month. You don't need the total of the cumulative frequency. That doesn't tell you anything useful. What this does is it gives you a shortcut for finding the mean because the mean is the sum of the FX column because that's the total of all your data divided by the sum of the frequency column because that's the number of scores. So your mean for this data is 25 divided by 20 which is 1.25. So you can get the median very easily from a frequency table. Or of course you could put it in your graphics calculator Oops. Put the frequency in L2, go into stat and calc, one variable stats where you've got L1 and L2, and it will calculate the mean for you. If you were using one of the updated graphics calculators, I don't know which I'll find one of. Then stat and edit. Remember you can clear your data. Oops, I don't have a five. Stat and calc, one variable stats and often it will give you the option of the list and the frequency list. L1 for the list, and because it's a frequency list, we want L2 above the 2 there. Move to calculate, and it gets our mean for us. It also, scroll down, gets us our median of 2, and our 5 number summary. Now, using the frequency table, you can of course also find the mode that is the score with the highest frequency. So the mode equals one. And the median, the cumulative frequency column is quite useful for that. Remember that the median position is the number of scores plus one divided by two. So I've got 25, 20 scores, 21 plus two, yeah, sorry, 20 plus 1 is 21, divided by 2 is 10.5. That means I want the 10.5th score. 
the cumulative frequency is useful for that because it tells us what score I'm up to. I'm up to the sixth score by zero. I'm up to the thirteenth score by the end of the ones. So the ten and a half score is in the middle of the ones. So the median is one. But remember, of course, you can always get all of this from the graphics calculator with a frequency table. But it was useful so that we can look at what happens when we have grouped data. Obviously, I don't know the individual data scores for this information about the area of some blocks of land. I just know that these three here have an area of between 520 and 539.9 meters squared. So I don't know the actual scores to calculate the mean. What we do in this case is we find and use a column with the midpoint and we assume that each of these pieces of data are in fact the middle of this range. So the midpoint between 520 and 540 is the average of 520 and 540, which is 530. And we will do all our calculations assuming that all three blocks of land are that size. It won't be accurate, but it will get us an estimate of the mean. The average, of course, between 540 and 560 is 550. So you'll see now that this has a pattern that we can follow up. And our FX column, if we should choose to use it, uses the midpoint instead of the value over here. So this becomes our X. We multiply midpoint by frequency. So th three lots of 530 is 1590. So I'm just multiplying two lots of 610, 1220. Two lots of 630, 1260, and one lot of 650. Now, again, we don't want the total of the X column. We don't want the total of the cumulative frequency column. We'll do our cumulative frequency column. end number is 23 which should be the total number of blocks surveyed which is the same as the total of the frequency the sum of the FX column is there notice that if you're following along on a worked example in your textbook uh, or the booklet it has missing a zero uh, or a three actually sorry missing a digit anyway now, the sum of the FX column, so the mean is the sum of the FX column divided by N, the number of scores, which is also the same as the sum of the frequency column, if you prefer to put it that way. Remember, sum of the FX column, sum of the frequency column. 1, 3, 2, 3, 0 divided by 23. So the mean is 575.22 meters squared and that is an approximation of the mean because we took the average of each of the area groups. The mode is in fact called the modal class when we're in grouped data. So we're not saying, now where's the modal class here? Highest frequency is 560. So 560 to 580 meters squared. We can find the median from the cumulative frequency column. The median position number of scores plus 1 divided by 2 23 plus 1 24 divided by 2 is the 12th score 
we go to the cumulative frequency column, I'm up to the third score, the eighth score, I'm up to the fifteenth score. So the median class is the 560 to 580 meters squared group. All of those, obviously, you can get from your graphics calculator. You would need to be a little bit careful because we enter the midpoint as our X score. So when we're in our statistics, remember we clear. Our midpoint would go in L1. etc. Our frequency would still go in list 2. When you calculated and got your data, obviously I haven't entered it all in here, when you get your one variable stats, remember, sorry they're giving me a different mean because I didn't go with all the data, that you would have to, for grouped data, look at the median and work out which class it was in. In this case, if it was 550, that's in the four, 540 to 550 class. And say the class, not just the number. So when we're dealing with grouped data and we're giving the measures of central tendency, median, mean, mode, range, the mean will be an estimate based on the average scores, average of the, each range. The mode and the median will be the modal class and the median class, and we'll have to state that.